Overcoming Health Trial Tests Statistics showed in the U.S., obesity rates have increased since 2008 among people ages 65 and older. Some chronic conditions associated with obesity include anxiety, cardiovascular disease, depression, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, hypertension, osteoporosis, sleep apnea, and stress. A 2015 statistic showed rates of obesity had exceeded 35% in Arkansas, Mississippi, and West Virginia. 22 states had rates above 30%, 45 states were above 25%, and this meant every state was above 20%. Though West Virginia had the highest rate of diabetes, Arkansas had the highest rate of obesity. The states that had the highest diabetes rates were in the South. Statistics showed 60% of adults were not sufficiently living an active lifestyle to achieve weight loss. Mississippi had the highest rate of people among adults who were inactively exercising. Adults age 40 and older had higher obesity than adults age 39 and younger. There were 34.9% of adults obese and 33.7% overweight from 2011 to 2012. Adults accounted for 68% of obesity while children accounted for 31.8%. Children and teens ages 2 to 19 who are obese also had increased health risks of being overweight or underweight. There were 17% of children obese, 14.8% overweight, and 3.5% underweight from 2011 to 2012. African Americans remain to have the highest obesity rates among demographic groups followed by Latinos. Obesity ages 2 to 4 in low-income families has been on the rise since 1999. While health care costs were an estimated $190.2 billion for obesity per year, it continues to rise. But apparently, if you can prevent obesity the chance of decreasing chronic conditions and diseases increases. However, the people who are obese have a low tolerance for influencing others, to live an active or healthier lifestyle. This is one major reason more are becoming obese. Since the 1970s fast food restaurants have doubled. All major food categories available for consumption had increased from 1970 to 2008. The American diet has exceeded the daily recommended allowance in four food categories, refined grains, saturated and solid fats, sodium, and sugar. Americans ate less than the daily recommended allowance of dairy products, fruits, oils, vegetables, and whole grains. Although 90% of the people ate more sodium, per person the average daily total of calories had increased by 600. From 1970 to 2008 statistics were compared to 2013. In 2013 the daily total of calories for ages 2 to 18 was 40% of added sugars and solid fats that came from empty calories such as, dairy desserts, fruit drinks, grain desserts, pizza, soda, and whole milk. Statistics showed in the U.S. for 2002, Americans had consumed an estimated $27.9 billion of beef, in 2014 an estimated $24.1 billion, and in 2015 an estimated $24.8 billion. But this showed that beef consumption had decreased. Meat manufacturers are adding more pork to the process of meat blends. Which decreases meat consumption globally, but in general Americans can do more to decrease meat consumption. And if you aren't sure how much meat to eat compare it to the size of your palm. Binging, gluttony, or pleasures of the palate while exercise can decrease weight, motivation, and willpower are needed to get moving but for various reasons, it slows most people down. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Proverbs 23:21. the overeating disorder can affect behavior and emotions, altering the mind to feel angry, uneasy, or nervous. Many factors can influence body weight, cancers, diseases, eating in moderation, human influence, lack of physical activity, and sleep. An addiction to fat content can play a factor. Again, food companies are cutting back, by not adding the full amount of natural foods to the process blends. And when a person doesn't get enough sleep, the body can trick the mind into thinking food is the best option, and medical conditions can modify the food intake. It is considered binging once you intake the daily recommended allowances, and then the portion sizes aren't beneficial enough to stop. Either way, all this can leave a person unsatisfied. Once a person becomes overweight more than likely they won't control their food intake, and this can worsen chronic cancers and diseases. With an addiction to fat content, it won't matter the number of fat ingredients. All of which can be overcome, setting small goals can boost motivation and increase willpower. It is a daily resolution to achieve the goal of preventing overeating. Once you have bought fresh natural foods process it yourself without salts and sugars. Alternatives to salt and sugar can be found in the natural foods area of the supermarket. After you start eating healthier, Excessive amounts of food will only make you sick to the stomach, and so try cutting binging days back to one or two days rather than an entire month. Obesity without the afterlife and overcoming generally obese individuals appear to look as though they are full of fatty ingredients. The mentality reveals a cold-hearted nature with an obsession for food, which can lead to excessive tendencies. To all my obese sisters and brothers, a part of the human race. 
giving your body to God as a living sacrifice to use as an instrument does involve overcoming the obesity disorder. It is the mask destruction of a body, and you must take action over everything that stands in the way. My heart goes out to you as we all struggle to conform to his image. I struggle with this myself and as I transform into his image, I am truly aware that it is a disorder because this affects many areas of my life. Although Jesus was perfect, we will never be perfect and it doesn't give us the right to not take accountability for our health. Unlike many other bad habits and disobedient obstacles many people do, the obesity disorder doesn't get disciplined the correct way, as a result, obese people don't feel accountable. The most common way a person gets discipline from this disorder is through formal or informal forms of embarrassment such as family, friends, social groups, and TV ads talk about it. The person is critical already, to have another setback which can lower self-esteem. Having said that, you don't wait till an afterlife to be transformed into God's image and it doesn't matter how long you have suffered from this disorder. And realistically you can't keep taking steps backward to remain in the same circumstance in life. Nothing will ever get done if you don't unlock the eternal incarceration yourself, the benefits are endless just as eternity is endless. Don't fear man fear God and have faith. Once you have acknowledged it, and then it is time to change to overcome. Ask yourself these questions. 1. Can I abandon these views? A. Whether or not I will eat tomorrow. B. Boasting how much or what I will overeat today. C. Putting a value on what others spent on food dishes. D. Eating the rich costly foods. E. Vengeful eating, because others overeat. 2. How can I decrease my calorie intake daily? A. Add water to high contents of saturated fats and sodium foods in cans, etc. B. Rinse off grease after frying meats and potatoes, etc. C. Cook with water, meats, and vegetables, etc. D. Use wheat pasta. E. Use healthy salts and sugars. F. Consume less and naturally heal from cancers and diseases, they make you think you need to eat more. G. Consume less store-bought processed foods, process your ingredients to prepare meals. Leave the unnatural stuff out. H. Compare meat portions to the size of your palm. 3. What makes me agree to overeat? A. Foods with multiple added ingredients. B. Rich foods are costly. C. When others go way out their way to prepare a meal, even if the meal won't be healthy. 4. What foods are supposed to be used for versus why others overeat them? A. Energy. B. Metabolism. C. Protein. 5. Why my body won't break down fats? A. I consume too much food or I'm not getting enough natural foods. B. Cancers and diseases may be preventing the fats from breaking down in my body. C. I am not drinking enough water to break down fat intake. Many people think it is 100% of what you eat as to reasons why you can't keep the weight off. From experience I know it is due to 50% of bad health, and 50% lack of exercise, which are major things most people don't like talking about. Many people fully believe eating dinner between 3 o'clock and 6 p.m. is beneficial to healthy eating habits, but initially, it is a myth. Eating dinner at 12 p.m. and then light meals after that is more beneficial. It has been determined that people tend to eat heavier at dinner time. An overweight person needs more than 4 hours to burn off fat calories before bedtime, and they do not need to follow the myth. Eating before bedtime enables people who are overweight to fall into temptation with food. It leaves more room for the enemy to kill, steal, and destroy eating habits all while, overweight people need peace in their lives. Running from fear only strengthens fear, so face fears head on with a loving kind spirit and keep peace in your heart. Ultimately validate and value yourself while changing the evil ways, and enjoy life to the fullest. If you have underweight people around the house, let them eat in peace they do need to eat 4 hours before, etc. A secret to losing weight for adults with a lot of health problems, take two multivitamins daily, one at 8.30 am, another one at 12 pm, and eat a light snack for the rest of the day. This will give you a ton of energy to burn off fat calories before bedtime. However, try not to eat after 5 pm, to prevent adding calories once the fat has been burned off. When you have days, you weren't able to control eating after 5 pm, drink more water during the night to decrease excess fat added. Review of personal goals finding that youthful appearance again for some may be difficult, while believing you deserve to feel healthy. And losing weight for some can also be difficult, knowing it will require effort. Start by saying to yourself, I need to change my thinking. I'm going to abandon all my excessive beliefs, and replace them with youthful and outgoing ones. It is my turn to shine. 1. Acknowledge your full potential by developing new talents that make you feel more youthful. 2. Envision long-term goals through God by telling Him your dreams and goals. 3. Set goals to keep them. 4. Share the mastery of progress with family and friends. 13 Secrets to a Successful Weight Loss 01. Find out your weight goal compared to your height. 02. 
make a list of the starting weight, target weight goal, and add the weight you have lost about every 3 months. Don't celebrate weight loss with food. 03. Plan to control your food intake daily, also avoid extra food contact, unless you work in the food industry. 04. Cut back on the processed foods you buy. Buy natural foods and take vitamins. 05. Stop eating with the church until you can control your food intake. 06. Stop eating free food unless it is necessary. 07. Drink plenty of water daily, it decreases fat ingredients intake. 08. Exercise a couple of hours a day, jog or walk around a bike track or gym to become open about losing weight. 09. Face your fear of trial tests to overcome traumatic events and resolve problems. 10. Lose weight for yourself, not for others. 11. Acknowledge your slip UPS, own them don't remain in the slip up zone, free yourself by getting back on track. 12. If you feel alone allow support, you will encounter many people who don't mind supporting you throughout weight loss. Feel blessed and freed while losing weight. 13. If you have a bucket list work through it. Enjoy life to the fullest. Example, weight chart. Starting 278 to 178 end goal. Date weight lost. May 14, 15, 278 PD 0 PD. June 15, 15, 258 PD 20 PD. August 10, 15, 240 PD 18 PD. October 15, 15, 220 PD 20 PD. Etc. 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 September 10, 16, 178 PD 09 PD. Eventually, you will meet your goal weight. However, after the first four months, the weight may start to come off slow, but just keep going. Health checklist 1. Am I eating natural foods? 2. Am I taking vitamins? 3. Is my health getting better? 4. Am I getting enough exercise? 5. Do I have enough mental clarity? A broken heart 1. Acknowledge how your heart was broken. 2. Choose to overcome. 3. Choose to move on in your life. 4. Let go. Our tendency is not to control bad habits normally, it is to think of ourselves as passive observers to forget we are active participants in excessive tendencies. Broken hearts become old wounds if you don't acknowledge when it happens through you, and so choose to overcome and release the hurt. A prayer for overeating, Father God, I haven't taken a stand on my obedience, I have been exercising greed by gluttony of the palate. I ask for the ability to change my eating habits of overeating. I ask you to open my mind to acknowledge exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask for accountability for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. I ask forgiveness of my sins, along with guidance throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all mankind. Thank you, Father. Dehydration water is the largest component of body mass. A person's total body of water ranges from 45% to 70% of body mass. This proportion varies according to several factors, age, disease type, hydration, and weight. And sometimes it is a difficult component to measure. The dramatic consequences of severe dehydration are estimated to be responsible for 5% of hospital expenditures on the healthcare system. Dehydration occurs when there isn't enough water to replace what was lost throughout the day. This is whether you are busy, don't drink enough while sick, or lack safe drinking water while traveling. Hydration disorders are a priority for the diagnosis and treatment of people showing symptoms. Symptoms can range from diarrhea, excessive sweat, fever, increased urination, or vomiting. The elderly are more susceptible to dehydration, with age comes a decrease in the total body of water. They're less likely to drink adequate water. Two-thirds of water in the body is intracellular, predominantly in lean mass. Aging makes it possible for a decrease in lean mass that can result into decrease in the total body of water. Generally, dehydration and mild dehydration can put stress on cognitive functioning. Dehydration is linked to anxiety feelings, concentration, irritability, and short-term memory. Low dietary intake also decreases water intake. It is estimated 1,000 kilocalories provides 400 ml of water, whereas oxidation of micronutrients produces a significant amount of metabolic water, 1.4 g g of fat and 0.6 g g of glucose. A reduction in appetite is a risk factor for dehydration. It plagues the U.S. as it does foreign countries, and could likely result in death. Tips for staying hydrated, eat more produce, keep a bottle of water handy, opt for cool water and use natural flavors to spice up water, and try a variety of teas. Malnutrition Initially malnutrition refers to inadequate nutritional intake that is insufficient to requirements. Several studies have shown aging is associated with an increase in malnutrition. Malnutrition can be diagnosed when weight loss is 5%, greater within 6 months, BMI is less than 21 kg m2, MNA score is less than 17, 
or albumin concentration is less than 35 g l without inflammation. Malnutrition is considered severe when weight loss is 10% or greater within 1 month or 15%, greater within 6 months, or albumin concentration is less than 30 g l. It is important to distinguish severe forms of malnutrition changes, and increased cytosine activity. Multiple non-physiological causes can explain the inadequate nutrient intake. These include social issues such as financial difficulty in buying food, and isolation. It plagues the US, just as it does foreign countries, and could likely result in death. Selective hearing nowadays people ears aren't susceptible to ideas or plans that are workable for the better of us all. Hearts are hard and minds are closed for new concepts and principles. If someone said for the good of us all, they might find themselves on the outside looking in. Having said we must acknowledge professionals, nutritional specialists, Dr. Oz, The Doctors Show, News Media, and many more, have given us tips on how we can better our health. However, it has been confirmed that we do have a breakdown in communication, and it does have a huge effect on human health. Now if we said something about the way someone was dressed on the red carpet, sure everyone all ears and shares their kind hearts. This means people are hearing what they want, and not hearing what they don't. But eventually, selective hearing can be overcome. God wants us to seek his knowledge, and it may require listening to the word coming from others. This is how many people got where they are today, and learned what they know now. Selective hearing can be the result of a head injury, tumors of the head, other health issues, and impairment during aging, attention deficit disorder, autism, and language learning disorders. Pain most adults overlook before it is too late. Setbacks This discussion is about acknowledging what to do about setbacks. Let go of past failures if they are things you had no control over. Acknowledge accountability for your actions the next time. The setbacks you have control over now, be accountable for your actions. Statistics show according to the National Department of Transportation drowsy driving is responsible for an estimated 1,550 fatalities and 40,000 non-fatal injuries annually in the United States. Sleep is important it is related to many behaviors and disorders. Insufficient sleep is linked to industrial disasters, medical and occupation errors, and motor vehicle crashes. It is estimated 50 to 70 million U.S. adults suffer from sleep or wakefulness disorders. It is suggested school-age children need at least 10 hours, teens need 9 hours, while adults need 8 hours of sleep daily. Tips, avoid alcohol, drugs, eating, using cell phones, etc., near driving times, and while driving. Sleep deprivation It is the condition of not getting enough sleep and can be either acute or chronic. A chronic sleep-restricted state can cause fatigue, daytime sleepiness, clumsiness, and weight loss or weight gain. It adversely affects the brain and cognitive functions, and it is something that affects millions of people daily. Various elements affect sleep patterns mainly, doing things in routine can result in not wanting to go to sleep. With everyone on the planet moving like a worrying type of creature, it shouldn't surprise us that most people aren't getting enough sleep. Many consequences wouldn't occur if more people were getting enough sleep. Sure, I can make up a ton of excuses, as to why most people aren't getting enough sleep, however, this is something most individuals may never overcome. God didn't enlighten us in the Bible about how individuals could get more sleep, but we can assume it affected their lives as well. Get some sleep. ZZZZZZ. Starvation it is a mode in which the body, is responding to prolonged periods of low energy intake levels. During short periods of energy abstinence, the human body will burn primarily free fatty acids from body fat stores. After prolonged periods of starvation, the body has depleted its body fat and begins to burn lean tissue and muscle as a fuel source. Ordinarily, the body responds to reduced energy intake by burning fat reserves and consuming muscle and other tissues. Specifically, the body burns fat after first exhausting contents of the digestive tract along, with glycogen reserves stored in muscle and liver cells. After prolonged periods of starvation, the body will utilize proteins within the muscle tissue as a fuel source. Individuals who practice fasting regularly, adhering to energy-restricted diets can prime the body to abstain from food while, reducing the amount of muscle burned. Excessive starvation can result in suffering or death caused by hunger.